Hello there, good morning. My name is Gavin Tabor. I'm Professor of Computational Fluid Dynamics at the University of Exeter and I'd like to give you a brief overview of my CFD research, particularly with that parts of those parts of it which relate to the WSI plus topics. So my research group currently comprises six PhD students and two, T two KTP associates working on a variety of academic and industrial projects, largely computational fluid dynamics, but in recent years we've done some machine learning as well. My main research interests are the physical modelling in CFD, optimization, hence the machine learning, and code development. And I'm heavily associated with the open foam, open source CFD code, plus applications, all of this in industry and biomedical applications. And I'm co eye on four current EPSRC grants. Now, I said I would focus very much on work relating to WSI plus topics. And one of our major projects at the moment is on offshore renewable energy. The, um, the, res the UK China resin project led by my colleague Lars Johanning. This is a, one of a number of projects, collaborative projects funded between the UK and China under the Centre for Offshore Re Renewable Energy. And Resin is looking at floating wind turbines in the South China Sea, all aspects experimental and computational modelling. In particular, I'm supervising two PhD students, Anna Feichner, who is modelling wave impacts on floating offshore wind turbines and the effect of porous baffles as a mitigation strategy. And Rachel Smith, who is working on simulation of wind turbines with open foam and fast. And I put some images in here, largely from Anna's work, to show you the work which we're doing here. In addition to the PhD students, we're also doing some interesting work in collaboration with members of our structural dynamics team at Exeter, looking at coupling wind and wave modelling together with stress and vibrational calculations for the turbines themselves. So that's distinctly appropriate for the WSI plus topics. Another area of interest here, and this relates back to some work I did a few years ago on an EPSRC funded project on scour behind bridge piers. We are assembling a research grant prep, um, proposal on scour behind offshore wind turbines. Partners for this are Newcastle, Dr. Royania, and HR Wallingford. And the work we're proposing includes some novel CT techniques for experimental characterization of the scour, novel CFD modeling of um, cohesive rather than sandy soils, and lab validation of all of that. Something else which might be of interest is um, the Isambard project. I'm part of the tier, uh, tier, successful tier two um, bid on Isambard. Now Isambard is a HPC facility based on ARM architecture chips. It's intended as a comparative platform. So there are nodes with ARM chips in them and nodes with other architectures in them. Led by Bristol, but Exeter leads on open foam and CFD in general. And the ARM architecture is proving to be very successful from my point of view. The Thunder X2 chips have a clear performance advantage when it comes to running open foam, which is very interesting. I mentioned open foam a couple of times. Um, open source CFD code with more than 50,000 users estimated. And I was part of the initial development team when I was at Imperial College at the last part of the 1990s. I'm an active member of the international community and I'm a member of the International Workshop Committee. I might add that the next workshop is in um, Dublin in Ireland next year in June. I'm also chair of the Joint Technical Committees for the Open Foam Governance Project. And in particular, one of those committees is on marine um, simulation. And so I'm hoping we'll have a lot to do with the WSI project. 
Finally, and this is not really to do with WSI, but one of my big topics at the moment is optimization with CFD. And I've done a lot of work coupling machine learning, Bayesian optimization, with um, CFD to optimize fluid flow devices. So here's a, a final slide here to demonstrate that work. Thank you for your attention. And I look forward to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the afternoon.